Here we go, friends. So I've just been told that we should probably record before we go, before we go in and do this part of the main storyline. It's called uh, the Soul Trial, and the actual quest itself is called um, A God Awakens. So enter the um, necropolis of Sutek and face Apophis. So this is like the big boss of Brimstone Sands, I guess, right? I don't know if I'm at the end of the main storyline already. Uh, my build's pretty scuffed, but... Yeah, somebody in chat said you probably want to record this bag and so I don't know what to expect. Haven't looked at any spoilers for this yet. Um, I've noticed that this... Yeah, let me just swap that out real quick. Okay, there we go. What are we at right now? Oh, this is a little bit awkward. Let's go 50 strength. 50 dex at least. Um, we need some focus so we can do some healing. 200 focus and then we'll get some more points into dex here. There we go. Great sword life staff. Main storyline quest. Uh, let's see what happens, shall we? Oh, wait, this is like a dungeon? Oh my god, it's like a solo dungeon. In order to complete this trial, you must have at least one Azoth staff. Maximum players one. Available rewards. Holy flip, dude. And they're all... They can all be legendary as well. Like, it's weird how they show 590, but with like a gem slot and three perks, but... I guess it just means you can upgrade to legendary. Blessed, refreshing move, keenly fortified. They've done it, chat. There's a solo dungeon, and it, it counts towards regular expeditions. Here we go. Approach the ancient sarcophagus. That is a big... Is it just going to be a boss fight? Is that what's going on here? It might just be a boss fight. Okay, there he is. Apophis, the uncreator. So dodge that. Okay, he's got a breath thing as well. Just a normal spam attack. Alright, I should probably get closer to him to actually do some damage. I assume we don't get close to him when he does that. Right, let's put Sacred Ground down. Orb, and then we try and go in. Alright, we're hacking him up. Block. Reflect. Keep myself topped up. I wonder if he's gonna have phases. No, I missed, I missed my sacred ground. Oh god, that thing does, uh... When it goes into the ground, it hurts standing near it. Okay. And then heals. Alright. Is there something else like I'm supposed to do with the coffin? No, oh, it seems like I'm just burning them down right now. But I mean, this is part of the main storyline, so I don't know if Amazon would have wanted to have made it too hard. But I might have spoke too soon, you know. I don't know. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's gonna do other things now. He's gonna summon ads. I was gonna say this is this is pretty easy so far, but he's not even at 50% yet, so. Alright, so we got some like angry earth dudes, but san sandy earth dudes. Got him down. Okay, he doesn't seem to do anything in this phase. He's just in the ground right now while we kill the ads. Kind of nice of him to just let us have the let us have the fight. Hey, bud, I'm back. Oh, he's weakened. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get a uh, back steps. I'm well, not weakened, you know, like in a in a staggered mode. Great Devara. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What was that? What is this? Is that the... Was that the sandworm? What the... F <laughs> okay, this is pretty cool. And then I guess when you see the little marker above your head, you just gotta make sure you move. Okay, got him down to half. Now what you doing, bud? Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. I got my stone form room, but I haven't really needed to pop it yet. Got my uh, my G ability, but I feel like it's, if I get stuck in a stun, then I can pop it to uh, get out of the stun real quick. Hmm. I think having a life staff definitely helps us out, because we don't really need to worry about our health getting too low. We can just top ourselves back up, but we're also not doing like a tremendous amount of damage either. 
Hey, Tara Bushido, thanks for the five months, bud. Thank you very much. Okay, we got more ads now. We got the uh, the Jins and a soldier dude. Careful, careful, careful. Got him down. One down. Ooh, getting low. Oh, you like one HP. Okay, there we go. Alright. Last like 30% here. Dozen, thank you so much for the 12 months. Oh, dude, I forgot. No, <laughs> I forgot. He, I need to rush over to him. After he summons the ads, you can get like a big chunk of DPS on him. I wonder if you got how many times you're gonna be able to actually do this a day. It'd be really good for those people who just like hate the idea of running a dungeon with other people. I wonder if you get like sapphire gypsum and stuff from this as well. Like uh, you would from doing Genesis or. And can you get like expertise pumps? Many questions. Boom, boom, boom. All right, almost got him. 2%. Yeah. Okay, we did get 144 gold. And he dropped a bag with treasure, health potion, and life staff. Oh, flip, man. But it's a solo dungeon. Now what? Can we get this? Sutex tomb. I can't use it. Oh, do I need like a special glyph or something to do something here? Yeah, they call it a soul trial. Oh, here, here we go. Maybe this. Hmm. Um. Yeah, thank you, Dozen, by the way. Thank you so much for the 12 months, man. Do appreciate it. The word of the wisdom is sealed. I'm Kabbalah, how you doing? Okay, we got a we got a chest here as well. I don't know how I do use that one there. Uh, I can show my stats again, by the way, if you're curious. This is what we had in in that fight there. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna honestly be the best build for people to use. I think I think split stat builds and split this much is kind of a bit funky, but um, we've used it a little bit in like three v three arena and stuff, and it's it's okay. I don't think it's gonna replace life staff and uh, uh, you know life staff rapier or anything like that. I don't seem to be able to use this. And also, we need to open the box as well. Given as a reward for defeating the dangerous monster Apophis, the Uncreator. Umbral Shards, 146 for a specific amount. And we got a shield with Hated, Sturdy, and Nature Shield. Oh, dude, it's like a Roman shield. That's pretty cool. And the World Encircler. So this probably doesn't become a legendary shield, does it? But let me check it out. Legendary shields seem to be like super rare. 600. Yeah, it's still epic. You can't interact with it as far as they know? Hmm, okay. I mean, this is just the test server, by the way, for, for YouTube and stuff, so... I guess not everything is final here, but that was pretty cool. A little, little look at the, uh, the solo dungeon here. I kind of want to go out and see if it'll let me do it again. Just out of curiosity. So they call it a soul trial, but effectively, that was just like, it was a dungeon with one boss fight. Um, but you do it on your own and you get umbral shards at the end of it and you get, uh, you get a box of loot. My sword's really pink as well. Yeah, I guess this will also probably come up in the YouTube comments and stuff as well as it is in Twitch chat right now. Uh, my sword's pink just cause the text is bugged. It's not going to look like this on live. Don't worry. I'm 99% sure that it will not be like this on live. It'll be something more like uh, just, you know, this, this is what it's supposed to look like, but for some reason. This particular sword called Parry is uh, is pink. I don't know why, but it, again, we're on the test server, so. Uh, just a quick update here for YouTube, by the way. It seems like it is a one-time thing, potentially. I've gone back in again now, but now it's become like more of an open world zone, so it could be just bugged for the test server. Maybe the idea is that you can run it multiple times a day. I really hope you can, because I think it would be nice for solo players. Um, if that was an opportunity, but yeah, if I go to the uh, entrance now, it's no longer like a uh, instance anymore. Like it used to be. I would interact with this and it would be in like an instanced area. Anyway, that was a bit confusing. Not entirely sure what's going on, but I just thought I'd give like an update for uh, for YouTube at least that it might only be a one-time thing, but fingers crossed this is like a good example of like the fact that Amazon can do this, you know, that they've implemented it. 
Um, so maybe we will see more solo dungeons and just like solo content in the future, like solo instance content. Um, I've always thought that something like a, a cube or a tower where it's like, you know, progressively higher difficulties the further you go through and you just do it solo would be pretty cool. So it's the first step towards something like that.